Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your Forex day trade setups for today. So, starting off with Euro USD uh, as usual, bit of a range day yesterday, uh, also looking like a bit of a triangle. Uh, definitely not an area I want to be short. I uh, think, uh, you know, when the oscillator is a group like this, definitely not looking for short. And when I look at the eight hour, I'm looking for pullbacks into 111, uh, 261 or 110.650 or 110 dead. That's what I'm looking for, looking for pullbacks in that area before even thinking about shorting this. So um, it is definitely in a downtrend, there's no two ways about that. But we have a bit of a triangle here, or should I say a diamond pattern. But uh, for me, I think you want to ignore all that. Get yourself a block around here. And that is your range. So we're going to need to break that range one way or another. If we do break it to the upside, then you've got uh, potential, lots of potential here. Yeah, each one of these tails would be a pullback. Got a bit of a gap today as well. Um, no, sorry, not today. That's uh, Friday. So that gap is, uh, depends which way you look at it, but for me it's still open. So um, yeah, I think this is a pretty clear wait for a break. I'm not interested in shorting just yet. Uh, I, I want to see the oscillator start grouping back the upside on the hour before looking for that short. Um, or alternatively, I want to see price pull back into this area before looking for the short. So that's, uh, I'm sitting on my hands on that one. Uh, moving on to US dollar Japanese yen and uh, Looking at the eight hour, this triangle is uh, still very much intact. So there it is there. Uh, there's the top of the triangle. So that is a consolidation pattern on the eight hour. You can see crossover of the oscillators in the middle. So nothing really exciting, but uh, there's no bearish tendency here. So this is you know, drifting slowly higher, but not at the rate at which Euro USD is falling which is always a concern. And um, if you look at price yesterday, we gapped up on the bottom of the triangle, as we pointed out yesterday, and we rallied back above all the moving averages right now. So um, that's my level. If we can come back and close this gap, find some structure here at 115.324, and you're looking for a move there with a stop just below this previous swing low. And you're looking to target the top of the triangle so, um, well worth watching today just be wary because look at the oscillators a bit of diversions brewing here high higher high while the oscillators making a lower high so no diversions i lie one of them has got diversions but the second oscillator doesn't so this one here is diversions that one's not so cancel that thought uh, you want both of them showing diversions before looking at that but if we do drop below this swing low here of 115.2450, uh, that would validate a double top and I would expect another move to the downside. And we do have a gap to the downside as well. So um, just be, be wary about that. But I think for me, this is definitely the area to watch. Uh, if uh, 115.324 can hold, there's a good potential that you're going to move to the upside. Don't think we'll break through this triangle. And you'll probably find uh, sellers come in here, take profit, and then it'll move back down again. So that's kind of the only structure I can see there. Uh, moving on to British pound, Japanese yen, and um, nothing really happened yesterday either. Bit of a, a range day. Don't like the way the oscillators are here. So again, I'm not interested in shorting down there. I am only interested in shorting off a pullback. So. If we look at the hour, you can see uh, yesterday was pretty much big up, big down, like most of the markets. And now what we're waiting for to see if we can get a either a pullback into this area, or are we going to reject this area here? There's a bit of a gap to the downside, oscillators are moving to the upside. Probably a good one for London breakout strategy. So first eight one hour bars, just draw your range around it. If you start breaking below that on the 15 minutes, Good opportunity to get in short stop above the high of the day and uh, it should play out uh, to the downside um, if it breaks the upside then i think you'll be capped uh, don't think you'll be capped by anything you may sorry you may be capped by 
that there, which is 152181, which if you are, then again, opportunity to be short there below the structure that's formed. Stop just above it, and you're looking for bottom of range, which is here at 151490. Uh, so um, yeah, either a range trade, or you're looking for uh, this flag to break to uh, to the upside, and we start to test these areas here, and that'll be your next opportunity for that short. Um, moving on to Euro British Pound. So uh, this weekly level that we had, which is a pretty strong break through, we are now testing at the moment. Uh, oscillators are grouped to the downside and crossed over, so you'd expect a little bit more out of this. And when I say a little bit more, expect a move to the upside. And you see we almost got into this area, oh, it depends how you draw it I suppose. Um, you could say that that is tested. So a break below this 8 hour bar is going to get us another move to the downside. Uh, the fact that we bounced like that was to be expected, to be honest. Uh, the big weekly level we broke through, so definitely going to come back and test it. It does look like a bit of a triangle forming here. Uh, again, I'd be watching London breakout strategy here because you've got a pin bar off of 155. You've got this level tested. Uh, it was late in the session yesterday, so I'd expect another test this morning. And uh, if you can get that test again and get some kind of structure, you're probably looking for a break and retest of 0.82833 for a continuation of the downside. So um, just bear in mind you're above the moving averages at the moment. So when you're above the moving averages and then sort of below the 155, it's always an indication you're probably going to range a bit longer. So um, I'd expect the moving averages to come together and maybe we sort of bounce above, bounce below, form a range. And then we're looking for a break of that range um, in a direction. Could be the upside, could be the downside, but you need to wait for the break before that happens. So I think this one for me is just be cautious, pay attention to it, but I don't think there's much, um, there's not much on offer on Forex today, to be honest. So uh, we need pullbacks into zones where we can start shorting or getting back in long. Until you get those pullbacks, don't rush it, just leave it on the side and uh, just keep an eye on it. And uh, it should happen, if not today, it'll happen tomorrow, uh, to get back into the zones that are of, of importance and then you can look for price action. Anyway, that's it for me this morning. hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.